Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 69 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a custom crop preset. Now, I get this question now and then. As you probably know, if you open the crop tool, you go to this little drop down, you can see there's some presets already in Lightroom for cropping a 1 to 1 ratio, 4 by 5, 8 by 5 by 11, and so on. But Often, we find that we don't use those common ratios. We crop it a specific way, maybe for a specific type of paper we're going to use or something like that. And we find we're doing it over and over and over. Now, in my case, I often put my Lightroom presets on sale. And when I do, I advertise them on Facebook. Now, when you advertise on Facebook and you put an image in your ad, Facebook recommends that the image be 1,200 by 628. Now that's kind of an odd crop. It's a 1.91 to 1 ratio crop. And the reason it, well, what will happen if I don't pre-crop it that way and I just send an image, you know, whatever size, but it's not in that ratio to Facebook, Facebook's going to just display the image by 1,200 by 628. And with an ad like this where I have letters in it or I have a person's face, I run the risk of getting some of the letters cut out when the ad displays or maybe, you know, cutting out part of the person's face or something like that. So I like to crop it in the ratio needed for Facebook ahead of time. So what it so I know exactly what's going to display when it goes on Facebook. So I create a custom crop. So you open up the crop tool, you're in the develop module, you go to this drop down right here. You go down right here where it says enter custom. Now it has the aspect ratio. Now you could put in 1200 by 628 or you could put the like the uh, reduced, you know, mathematically reduced ratio 1.91 to 1. I'll just put the 1200 by 628 to make it simple. Just like that. And then you just click OK. And then you could see it kind of crop the image and if you look over here you could see it has 12 by 6.28 it reduced it that much and if you were eagle-eyed when I opened this earlier you saw that I already had that custom crop in there because I've used it before there it is 12 by 6.28 now you could put five custom crops in here so you could have up to five Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to delete them once you have them in there. Now, if you put a new one in, what it's going to do, if you have five and you put a new one in there, it's just going to delete the oldest one and add, a, add your newest one. Now, you could delete these if you know anything about SQL and you have an SQL ad editor. These custom crops are stored in the Lightroom catalog. And if you have an SQL editor, you could go into the catalog and delete the crops from there. Now, you got to know what you're doing. You got to be careful. Make sure you back up your catalog because you could totally mess up your catalog and Lightroom won't run properly. So, again, you know, do that with caution. So, I have that custom crop. Now, I could always just easily come in here when I'm running an ad and I could uh, just do that custom crop. And then, as long as this padlock is locked, I could resize also, and it will keep that aspect ratio, 1.91 to 1. And then I could just like more customize it so it's perfectly sized, and then close the crop tool when I'm done. And there's my perfectly cropped image for a Facebook ad. So that's it. That's how you create a custom crop preset. I hope that helps. I get that question now and then, and it's relatively easy to do, as you could see. So thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.